Ever wondered what happens to transform regular milk into that magical powder that bodybuilders can't stop talking about? Well, get ready to have your mind blown because today we're diving deep into the fascinating world of whey protein production. You might think whey protein is some kind of artificial supplement cooked up in a lab, right? Yes! Definitely. That's what I thought too, but here's the thing. It all starts at your friendly neighborhood dairy farm, where our story begins with some very happy cows. And no, they're not doing bench presses yet. But seriously, have you ever wondered why whey protein was discovered in the first place? And how did someone look at cheese making and think, hey, that leftover stuff might be valuable? Picture this, every morning farmers collect fresh milk from their cows, storing it in massive tanks that look like giant metal smoothie cups. But here's the million dollar question, how much milk does it actually take to make one container of whey protein? Trust me, the answer will surprise you. Now, now let's get cheesy. Literally, the milk takes a journey in refrigerated trucks to cheese factories, where the real magic begins. Did you know that whey protein is actually a byproduct of cheese making? <laughs> Really? That's right. One industry's leftover is another industry's gold. The milk gets pasteurized, goodbye bacteria, and then something incredible happens. They add a special ingredient called a coagulant, which basically tells the milk it's time to split up. Like a dairy divorce, the milk separates into curds. Hello, future cheese. And our star of the show, liquid whey. But wait, there's more. Have you ever tried drinking pure liquid whey? Pro tip, don't. It needs to go through an intense makeover first. Think of it as the protein spa day. It passes through various filters in a process that sounds like something from a sci-fi movie. Ultrafiltration and reverse osmosis. These fancy terms basically mean we're playing a game of keep the good stuff, ditch the rest. <laughs> that was awesome. Here comes the really cool part. Evaporation. No, we're not making the whey disappear into thin air. Instead, it's like sending our whey protein to boot camp. Under controlled heat, it loses water and gets thicker and more concentrated. Ever wondered why some protein powders mix better than others? The secret lies right here in this process. Now for the grand finale, spray drying. Picture this, our concentrated whey is turned into tiny droplets. Think morning dew, but way more protein packed and blasted with hot air in a special chamber. It's like a water park for protein molecules, except instead of sliding down water slides, they're turning into the fine powder we all know and love. But here's a brain teaser, why don't they just let it air dry naturally? What makes spray drying so special? Why? Finally, we've reached the fun part flavoring. Because let's be honest, plain whey protein tastes about as exciting as cardboard. Don't worry, I won't tell the protein manufacturers I said that. This is where those delicious flavors like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry come into play. But have you ever stopped to think about who decides what flavors make the cut? And why does birthday cake flavored protein powder taste nothing like actual birthday cake? The final step involves careful packaging and rigorous quality checks. Each container of protein powder is tested to ensure it can contains exactly what the label promises. Think of it as the protein powder's final exam, and only the best graduates make it to your shaker bottle. Who would have thought that the journey from cow to protein shake was so complex? Next time you're mixing up your post-workout shake, remember, you're not just drinking protein powder, you're drinking science. And maybe, just maybe, those cows deserve a little more credit for their gains in the gym. Okay, that last part was a joke, but you get the point. So the next time someone asks you how whey protein is made, you can tell them it's not just about separating curds and whey, it's an incredible journey of filtration, evaporation, and transformation. Who knew getting swole was so scientific? 